You guys have to stop having conversations in the middle of the woods. You have to stop. You're done. No more. I was okay with this episode. It, it wasn't the best. It wasn't an absolute train wreck. It was just kind of there. It was setting us up for the finale, and I accept that. I accept that every episode isn't going to be in your face the most amazing thing ever, especially with how many episodes are in the Walking Dead season. I've been going through a roller coaster ride with Carol. First, I was glad she was doubting her actions back with the wolves invading Alexandria. Then when she was captured three episodes back, her breakdown felt really weird to me and I was kind of questioning what was going on. And at first I actually thought she was faking it until I realized, oh, no, she's legitimately having a breakdown. Now I'm kind of on board. But I also like that she's going through a mental breakdown and still can make intelligent decisions. Well, besides leaving Alexandria. Sewing that gun into her sleeve was brilliant. And really, Carol's actress is phenomenal. I love her. The range of emotions she can play. She can be a battered housewife. I feel like I say the battered housewife every review. She can go from being like psycho crazy Rambo to woman that's still a badass, but she's questioning what am I doing? Am I becoming a monster? Am I becoming the people that I'm putting down? And seeing how much this is affecting her and her realizing that maybe she's gone a little bit too far. And we all knew when the saviors shot at her car and she came out and she was crying that she wasn't crying because she was scared. She was crying because she realized what they were going to make her have to do and she just didn't want to do it. Poor Carol, she should realize at this point that no matter where she goes, she's going to have to deal with these type of situations. The only way to avoid that is to perhaps find a quiet little pocket of the world where there are no longer people that are going to attack you. I personally would have really enjoyed seeing the small group of saviors arriving at Alexandria and just getting totally taken care of. And what do they really think they're doing? They know at this point that the Alexandrians have guns for one, and rocket launchers. So they know that these people are heavily equipped and you're still gonna drive a little truck filled with a small group of people there. And I know that this has been done in other mediums, but didn't perhaps make as much sense in the show unless there were other people from the Saviors group that were gonna also show up and attack them. Which might be why we saw Dwight in the woods. So anyways, Carol takes them out and then she disappears. And Rick and Morgan go after her to find her and bring her back home. And I love how proud Rick is of Carol for taking out the group of saviors. And Morgan just seems absolutely disgusted. Love Rick's interrogation skills. Where's Carol? Gives almost no time to answer and kills him. Though he probably realized the guy was breathing blood and wouldn't be able to answer. But still, Rick is a little itchy with the killing. Morgan's speeches, while not rage-inducing this episode, were still a tad bit aggravating. There's no one right way. But I'm going to tell you the way you're going is wrong. But there's no right way. Except for what you're doing. And his whole thing about how sparing the wolf led to the wolf saving Denise. Dude, he wouldn't have needed to do it if you put down the damn wolf. But I get, despite his flaws and logic there, what he's trying to get about. Everything's circular, there's karma to everything. Except that's not how life works. Life isn't on a karma balance, at least as far as we know it isn't, and it really doesn't seem to be that way. So letting a dangerous person go thinking, in the future you're gonna change around and you're, you're gonna do some great things, isn't the best strategy for survival. Y you want to hold on to your morals and your humanity, but don't be a dumbass in the process. Kind of surprised Rick didn't call him out on his bullshit and wasn't overly angry about him sparing the wolf and putting him in Alexandria. Also, Rick, narking on Michonne, shame on you. That wasn't cool. That wasn't cool at all. Daryl trying to get revenge. I get it. He was very emotional. I wish Glenn's words, are you doing this for her? She's gone, man. You're doing this for you. Would have gotten through to him, but then we would have missed more speeches in the goddamn open for no effing reason. I honestly want to know how many times they're going to have speeches or long conversations out in the open and be ambushed before they think, huh, you know, maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe we shouldn't. And then when a character starts a speech, they just, shh, 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 we'll get in the car. 
We'll get back to Alexandria. We'll get in the house. And you can have your speech. You can have your monologue. You can go for hours if you want. Just not right here. Not right now. If you start a speech, we're going to get ambushed. I do kind of feel bad for the saviors. They continuously get the drop on Rick's group, but every time they get their asses handed to them, how can you have that advantage and always manage to just piss it away? But I think this time will be different, and I don't think Daryl is dead, especially with Dwight saying you'll be alright. Or maybe he was saying that to Rosita. It really looked like it was a shoulder shot, though. Maggie's stomach cramps. I don't think we're getting a Dawn of the Dead baby scene. People are a little conflicted on that scene, whether they liked it or not. I personally might be a little intrigued to see a baby die inside the womb and then claw its way out, but I am probably in the minority on that, and that probably went a little darker than I should have in this episode review. I more think that the cramping is a way of getting Maggie to Hilltop so she can start building friendships and relations over there and stronger ties. Random thoughts. Easter episode and no Jesus. They missed out on so much fun. And does anyone else see what is so wrong with Morgan snapping the necks of zombies to take them out? So that was my review of the episode. It was an okay episode. I don't think it was horrible by any means. It was enjoyable, but I really think it did set up for the 90 minute finale next week, which is absolutely going to rock our socks and I am unbearably excited for. So what are your thoughts on this episode? How do you feel about the saviors? How do you feel about their track record with uh, ambushing and it never really turning out the way they want it to? Do you like Morgan? Do you understand where he's coming from? And what about Rick? If you were Rick, would you have backhanded him after he told you about the wolf or would you have understood? Make sure you like the video, put your comments below, and subscribe, and do an Irish jig. Oh no, St. Patrick's Day has passed. Don't do an Irish jig because they're evil. Morgan's episode, this dialogue, was